Hey everyone, it's Karen from Maple Eye Life. Today I'm in the kitchen again. And where else am I ever, ever at is in the kitchen. Uh, today I'm not doing anything on gardening, but I've discovered that I need to make my soap again for my, my own use. Um, this is a base recipe that I use uh, quite a bit. And um, I found that with, with this particular recipe, it uh, has changed my skin texture so much uh, that uh, I've, I use, I've been using this actually for, oh, I'd say about three years now. This was my very, one of my very first soaps that I ever made. And this is my base recipe, and I'm going to be giving it to you. So uh, uh, I just wanted to, to show you uh, exactly how I'm doing it. But uh, it's a base recipe which you can uh, modify uh, to your own liking with different fragrances, different scents, different colors. If you want to go natural, you can go natural. Now this though is not a vegan um, recipe. Uh, I like using uh, tallow or uh, lard uh, for some of my, uh, my soaps. And this I found has been one of my best soap bases going for me anyway, because I've, like I said, I've noticed a difference in my um, in my skin tone. Um, the feel of my skin is. Uh, I used to have uh, like over on my on my arm. It used to be quite bumpy, and then since I started uh, making my own soap, uh, it's gotten uh, very smooth uh, along with uh, my my thighs, my legs and pretty much all over my body. So here what I've got, um, I've got uh, a mixture of oils and butters and uh, I'll, like I said, I'll provide you with uh, the recipe below in the description. So what I've got, this is only a 500 gram batch, so it's kind of, it's a small one because it, for me it's my only, it's only for my own use. So um, what this has is it, it's 30% olive oil, which is 150 grams. It is 30% coconut oil, 72, uh, 76 degree uh, coconut oil, which is 30%, and that's again 150 grams. I have 10% sunflower oil, which is 50 grams. 20% lard or tallow, it doesn't matter which one you use, uh, but uh, if you're, I'm using lard here, if you're going to use tallow, just run it through the lye calculator uh, just to make sure that the numbers uh, are, are the same. So it's 20% lard and that's 100 grams, and then I've got 10% shea butter, and it is also 50 grams. So that, that makes up by 100% of my um, of my uh, oils and butters. Now I've got my lye here, my lye solution here. I'm not going to pour it yet because uh, I don't have my gloves on and so forth. But you're going to need uh, 185 grams of distilled water and uh, 71.29 grams of uh, lye. For the fragrance it's going to be 15.50 grams. So uh, what I'm doing here is uh, like all the butters and, and the oils and that have been melted and I'm just stirring out a lot of the bubbles. I'll be doing that too uh, when, uh, when I, after I've stick blended it to get rid of some of those bubbles. So um, what you can do is if you want, you can be more natural. Uh, my last bar was uh, Mango Madness, which I called it and it was a, um, a believe it was a Taiwan swirl and um, it, it was beautiful like I used um, natural uh, colorants like cocoa uh, cocoa powder and turmeric uh, along with uh, some kaolin clay for the white part now this time I'm gonna be doing it different uh, I'm gonna be doing an in the pot swirl just you know two colors base is gonna be white and the color is gonna be a beautiful beautiful pink and it's it's called Vancouver Island Sunrise from Serafina's uh, Coastal Colors uh, in here in Canada. Okay so now what I've uh, I've got here is um, my lye water has cooled so sufficiently enough it's uh, 
close to room temperature, maybe just above. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it in here. Okay. And I'm just going to bring it to a, a, a light trace. So it's at a, a light trace right now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide. Just a little, not much. I don't want it to, I don't want the glycerin rivers. Okay, so that's nicely done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. I'm going to pour a little bit into my um, into a small container here, smaller container, and I'm just going to add uh, some of the mica so that I can do a nice little in the pot swirl. Okay, so I've added my mica, and I'm just going to give it a quick. Quick buzz, wipe it off, and then I'm going to add my fragrance and I'm going to hand stir that. So I just want it to be a light pink, and what I'm doing is I'm going to be adding um, cherry blossom fragrance oil. Now you can use any kind of uh, fragrance, or if you want to use, uh, you want to be more natural uh, with uh, with respect to the fragrance. By all means, use essential oils. And I'm just going to put a little bit in here. And a little bit in there. I don't want a lot because uh, I find that the fragrance oils can be quite, quite fragrant and quite pungent. So I'd rather just hand stir it. See, like, look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? It's a nice light pink. I mean, sure, you can go even darker by adding more mica, but I don't want a lot of mica in it. Okay, so I'll set that one aside and stir in my fragrance for this one. And it's going to be more white than uh, than pink because uh, I like I like white soaps. Believe it or not, I'm I'm quite crazy about white soaps. There's something uh, pure about having uh, more of a white soap. So, okay, so now that that's stirred down, what I'm going to do is now add little droplets here and there around and then just do an in, in the pot swirl. And I'm going high because I want it to penetrate really well. Okay. center get it as much as possible out less cleaning for me to do okay so now fun part is I'm gonna go once twice and that's enough.
Okay, so what I will do next, bring over my bring over my uh, molds. And I'm using silicone mold. If you want, you can also do uh, a big uh, loaf mold. And I'm just going to pour it in. spare with these ones. Okay, it's all clean. And what I'm going to do is just smack it down a bit, get rid of some of the bubbles. So yeah, so I've got about seven and a bit bars here. And uh, I'm going to leave them out uh, to uh, cure or uh, harden up actually for about 24 hours. And uh, then uh, we'll come back and uh, show you the reveal. Okay, so it's morning and I'm going to try and unmold these soaps. It's been 24 hours or so. And all I'm doing is I'm loosening up the edges by pulling on the silicone molds and then I'm just popping it from the bottom. Yeah. So that's one bar. And two. They turned out nice. They're going to be really nice bars. I like how all the streaking in them.